here. Today I'm doing this braided hairstyle inspired by Blake Lively and I love Blake Lively's hairstyles in general but this one I really loved. I posted it on my Facebook and got a lot of great feedback so I decided to do a tutorial on it. I think it's actually a lot easier than it looks in the picture which is phenomenal. It's kind of like a braid within a braid within a braid within a braid so it's kind of like braid inception. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I love it. I hope you guys love it too. And uh, I think that's it. So I will see you in my next tutorial. Mwah. Start by brushing all of your hair straight back into a ponytail and it's going to be right in the middle of the back of your head. Now if you have thicker hair, you can brush this back kind of tight. But if you're like me and you have thin hair, you might want to leave a little bit of volume just so you don't look like you're bald from the front. Not a good look. Then you can go ahead and do some hairspray. Blake's ponytail in this hairstyle was pretty slicked back. Again, I don't really want it too slicked back on me, so I kept a little bit of volume. You can see I'm kind of combing with my fingers a little bit. I find that makes it a little bit piecier, and it helps to keep a little bit of volume, especially on top. I kind of slicked the sides down by using the flat of my hand, but then on the top I definitely use my fingers just to keep that volume there. Now we're going to be doing a lot of splitting and making sections. Don't get confused. Um, you're going to go ahead and split the ponytail in half and secure one side out of the way. And then you're going to take the side that you have left and split that in half and secure half of that out of the way. And then you're going to braid this entire section that you have left. It's just a normal braid all the way down and secure it with a band. Next you're going to let the section free and you're actually going to split that one in half again and separate half of that like you just did before. And now you're going to braid with what you have left and you're going to use the braid you just did as one of the three sections of the braid and use the rest of the normal hair for two sections. And that's just going to create this cool little woven effect. It's not hard though, it's just a normal braid. Um, one of the sections is just a braid, so it looks kind of cool. And then once you get to the bottom of that, you're going to secure that with a band as well. And then you're going to leave that one section and you're going to go to the other side and split it in half and secure half out of the way and braid it all the way down. We're pretty much repeating the braid we just did on the other side of the hair. So we're braiding all the way down normally on this side. Now if you want to get fancy, you can mix with the texture just a little bit. You can do this first braid a little bit tighter, and then with the next braid we're going to do, you can do it a little bit looser, and that'll just kind of mess with the texture a little bit. But you're going to split this section just like we did on the other side. You're going to split it in half again, and secure one of those halves out of the way. and then braid with the other half using the braid that we just did as one of the three sections. And braid all the way down and then secure with a band. Alright, then you're going to let the other sections free. And you're going to wrap each of the unbraided sections around the braided section. And that just creates the little wraps look that you see in the original hairstyle. And you're going to end with the two braids in the middle. And then you're going to braid again using the two braids as one section and then the other two pieces as the, as the two sections. So it's still a braid. You've got three sections, but the two braids are one section. Sounds a lot more confusing than it is. It's basically just a braid within a braid within a braid within a braid within a braid. Within a braid. Yeah. And then you're going to secure the end with a band, and that's pretty much it.